Hey everybody, Crazy Grandma here. Let's record another memory for these babies. I hope you guys are playing along. I hope you guys are getting some layouts done. Oh, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I would love to have you guys come share my chaos over here and get some things done with me. Give me your ideas. Share, share, share. Okay, let me get back to what I'm doing here. My brain is like, squirrel. Anyway. I am going to do this picture that I found from a long time ago. I'm not a chronological scrapbooker. And I'm going to be using this first responder paper. Because my son, who is now 42, that makes me feel old. When he was uh, this young, <laughs> picked up the phone and was playing with it and called 911. Yep, he did that. And it was a small town. My uh, my husband's family knew the uh, you know the police chief and everybody in town. So he came up to the house and he wasn't mad or anything like that. But this was right before he somebody answered the phone saying, 911, what's your emergency? So that smile was literally seconds before. So I love this picture. So the paper, other paper I'm using, I'm sorry, I don't remember where this paper is from. It's not part of that collection, I don't think. So, yeah, I don't know where it's from. So I'm going to use this, and I'm going to put this, like, right there. Again, make a decision and stick to it. Do you want to make sure though I have it on the sides right though? This paper here is six inches and I have the other six inches over in my scrap bin over here that I have. And I'm going to put my picture, I think right around here. And I decided I was going to use this for my journaling. And let me show you what I'm, why I'm going to do this. I am going to put on, let me see, police. And I'm going to put a badge like this. And I'm going to cover up this with this. And I'm going to make it look like a police report. Isn't that cute? So the paper I decided to, to use as my matting is this one here because it kind of coordinates well with the color. Is it the same color? No, it's close enough. It's close enough. So I'm going to put my picture... on here if you have... there we go and then I'm gonna put that right there I think and then I went to my computer and I found some clip art of a policeman and a police dog and I had my cricket cut it down. You could very easily go find something like this, print it out, and fussy cut it yourself. I choose not to. I have a Cricut, and I use it for that. Um, so, you bet you don't have to. So this is going to go down here, similar to this. If I want it. And then, what I do with my, this, my police badge? I'm just going to go like here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And I have some emergency buildings. I have the hospital, which I'm going to put there. I'm going to put the fire department right next to it. And then I'm going to put the police department right there. And then I have my title. Hello? Nine one one, and then at the bottom, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. What is your emergency? 
And then I have a little police helmet, which I think I'm going to... Do I want to put it there? Or on the H? I like it on the H. There we go. So that's going to be my page. Quick layout. Just a really quick... Um, quick page to share that memory with him and his kids. I think this turned out super cute. This is a picture that I've had, I have hold on, held on to for a little bit because I think we all have those pictures that, you know, we want to share it. We want to make sure we have the perfect layout. Guys, if you don't start on it, you don't just do it. It's not going to be any kind of a layout, much less perfect. So just start on the paper, trust your judgment, make a decision, stick to it, and get those memories shared for your babies. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.